and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. This is the main event of the evening. In the red corner, weighing in at 275 pounds from Vancouver, Washington, Jesse the Bulldog Barr. His partner, weighing 285 pounds from Texas, Lou the Bull, Andrews. In the blue corner, weighing 295 pounds from Idaho Falls, Idaho, Bruiser Brian. His tag team partner, welcome him back to the Northwest, weighing 270 pounds, the master of the full Nelson, Billy Jack Hayes. Well, there you go. Fans, introduction to the participants for the main event. Bruiser Brian Cox, Billy Jack Hayes being looked at by referee Dale Wire against Jesse Barr, one half of the World Heavyweight Tag Team Championship with his partner, Lou the Bull Andrews. Big main event. Billy Jack Hayes returning to the Northwest. Fans glad to see him. Looks great. He's in wonderful physical condition. Coming back after a huge, successful tour in the southeastern United States. Georgia, Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia, North and South Carolina, Alabama. Been to Georgia. Pretty well running the, ruling the, ruling the roost down there, as they would say. I know it's Billy Jack Haynes. My end isn't that good. People are saying, it's Billy Jack Haynes. I know it's Billy Jack Haynes. I got it straight yet. They're yelling at me. But that's all right. I'll take all the constructive criticism I can, and the fans are fired up here for this main event. Jesse Barr is going to start for his team. Bruiser Brian Cox and Billy Jack picking out who's going to go first in there, and it looks like Bruiser Brian's going to go first with Jesse Barr. Billy getting the fans up. Bar and the Bruiser ring center. Wrapping each other around and the Bruiser throws Bar down. Bar complains about the hair. First retail wire saying you better get your hands out of that man's hair. But you and I both know that. Bruiser didn't pull that hair. Barr is a master of deception. Referee has to ask. There's the Bruiser and Barr locking up hands. Ring center, Barr. Top wrist lock on the Bruiser. The Bruiser reverses it into a hammer lock. Barr immediately reaches for the rope to break the hold. Bruiser has to back up. That's right, fans. You're watching Championship USA Professional Wrestling here on Coin 6, Channel 6, the best television station in the Pacific Northwest. Championship USA Wrestling. And Coin 6 can't get any better, and that's right. You're looking on the apron out there. The fellow walking back and forth is none other than Billy Jack Haynes. Billy Jack, the master of the Bull Nelson. You might as well call him the master of disaster. There's a try for a atomic drop by the bruiser on Barr. Barr dives for the ropes. They get out of the ring. They get away from him. Bruiser Brian Cox, Billy Jack Hayne, Lou the Bull Andrews, Jesse Barr. What a tag team match this is. You figure each gentleman in there weighs close or over 300 pounds. That's a lot of beef, and I, I defy you to find any fat on these gentlemen. That's all muscle, folks. Jesse Barr, probably one of the better wrestlers of the entire group. One of the most sought-after high school collegiate wrestlers in the United States at one time. Jesse Barr, what a illustrious amateur background. You can't even begin to believe what he's done as a professional. He's won half of the World Tag Team Championship already in his young career. 
some people it takes years to get to that stature, but Jesse Barr has been at it for years. Always on top, no matter where he goes. He reaches out and tags the bull. Bruiser sees it and backs up. It's main event time. You're just tuning in. The Championship USA Wrestling here at the Bagley Center downtown Vancouver. Every Sunday night at 6 p.m. All right, Bruiser Brian tags Billy Jack Hayes says, come on in. Now the bull is going to have to face Billy Jack Haynes. The crowd just going crazy. This is the kind of crowd noise we like to hear. Place is rocking tonight here at the Bagley Center. A bull. Billy Jack Hayes in the center. Billy comes up with a standing wrist lock. He twists the bull's wrist. Takes it inside to a standing figure four arm bar. Andrews goes into the rope. Billy Jack Hayes is going to be forced to be backed up away from him. Well, I tell you, these fans will jump all over you. My Haynes doesn't sound like a Haynes. It sounds like a Hayes. I'm sorry, terribly sorry. My apologies. It's Billy Jack Haynes. There's a, oh, there's an amateur takedown from behind. The bull upside down and out of the ring underneath. Underneath the bottom rope. Billy Jack saying, you get out here yourself. All right, the bull out on the floor with Jesse Barr, and Barr whispering some instructions to the bull as to what he should do with this huge human being that he's facing. The bull's a big guy, but Billy Jack Haynes, probably one of the strongest wrestlers in the business today. And he's phenomenally quick for a side. Weighs close to 100 pounds. There's an arm drag by the bull. That caught Billy unaware. Billy's a pretty good hold. That's all right. Pretty good. Pretty good hold. Gives him a kudos. He says, pretty good. But I wouldn't get too far with it. There's a go behind the leg trip. Goes in. Comes up with that figure four hammer lock from behind. Got him hooked in there pretty good. He's got body weight over top of him. Another hold him down. He just cinched up on that. You could hear the bull yelling all over the arena. The bull trying to get to that rope. He manages to get to the rope. Bruiser comes in, thumps him on the arm, grabs the same hold. Now Haynes and Barr are having words over in the corner. The bull has his hands full. Who's the bull Andrews? He's a poor arm bar by Bruiser Brian Cox. The action has slowed down to a test of strength here. I think I know who's going to win this one. There's an arm drag, inside arm drag, very tight. By Bruiser Brian Cox on. Lou the Bull Andrews. Jesse Barr saying, hey, Bull, come here. I want to talk to you. Bull, come here. The Bull leans over, gives instructions from Barr. That's something I never did, fans, when I was a, a wrestler. I never looked to somebody else to give me instructions on what to do in the ring. I learned by my own. I didn't take instructions from anybody else. Didn't need it. Jesse Barr has these guys hypnotized. He talks to Lou the Bull Andrews and Dane Rush like they're dirt. And they take it. I don't understand it. But they've been fairly successful as a team listening to him thus far. 
There's an arm drag. As soon as Barr tagged in and stepped into the ring, Bruiser Bryant got it. You'll notice that Jesse Barr's left forearm, left upper arm is taped. And there's a gauze pattern underneath. That's to cover up the sutures from the Bob wire match he got last week. Bruiser Bryant has slits all over his back and underneath his tights. And the same thing, and he's got cuts all over the forehead underneath the hair there from that barbed wire match last week here at the Bagley Center. Don't forget, next week, fans, another match, a big match on the card. Bart Sawyer has challenged Buddy Wayne, who has just a Pier 9 brawl, knockdown, drag out, tavern fight, you name it. Anything goes. They can wear boots, spring chains, anything. They can go all over the arena, parking lot, or whatever. That's just going to be one of the bouts on next week's card. And tonight here at the Bagley Center, tonight, man, oh, man, it shows. If you folks don't get down here tonight, the Bagley Center, you're going to miss one of the biggest cards of the year. Don't forget about the Dornbecker Children's Hospital toy drive we've got going. You bring a toy that's unwrapped. The toy has to be brand new, nothing used or dirty. It has to be a brand new toy in a box. We'll wrap it up and give it to the kids at the Dornbecker Hospital. If you'll do that, you bring a toy like that, you get in free from now until December the 17th. And again, we might add, don't forget the Christmas Day card here. December 25th, Monday, December 25th at 7 p.m. here at the Bagley Center. That's Monday, December 25th here at the Bagley Center after Christmas Day. Christmas evening, 7 o'clock. Big, huge card. The biggest card of the year. We'll be going into the bigger part of the auditorium, into the big gymnasium here at the Bagley Center with this card. That's how big it's going to be. I would suggest you get here early, get your reservations. 503-289-4222. Blue, the Bull Andrews, brings the Bruiser back to his corner. Jesse Barr tags in and immediately starts attacking Bruiser Bryant with a barrage of stomps to the midsection to wear him down. Barr is an expert at that. Brian's had the wind knocked on. Huge chop by Barr since Brian to the match. Oh, me, oh, my, an elbow. Excuse me, a knee drop right to the forehead of Brian. I wonder if that didn't split him wide open. Barr tries for a left hook. Brian throws a huge right hand. Goes back to that standing wrist lock. Same hold he had on the bull. He's got it on Jesse Barr now. Billy Jack saying, give it to him, give it to him. He tags Billy Jack. In comes Billy Jack, and out goes Jesse Barr. He bails out onto the floor. I have never seen Jesse Barr run from an individual like that, but he's running from Billy Jack. He doesn't want anything to do with Billy Jack Hayes. Billy saying, what do I have to do to get you in the ring here? Louisville Andrews giving me some tongue lashing. Telling me to call the match as I see it. Well, I'm calling it as I see it. Billy Jack Hayes has Jesse Barr afraid of him. The fans know it. Billy Jack's going to have his hands full with movable Andrews. Always, always the nemesis. Jesse Barr. Phenomenal athlete, one of the better in the world today. Oh, Billy Jack Hayes takes a huge tackle from the bull. Boy, that'll clack your teeth in a hurry. Down went Billy Jack. Side headlock like by Lou the Bull Andrews. Hayes shoots him off the rope, takes another tackle by the Bull. Well, that's two in a row. That's got Billy's attention. Say, boy, that sure got me. Put the end of my tongue off on that one. Rough business, fans. Rough, rough business. These are pros. Inside hammer lock by Billy Jack Hayes. Gets a bull, a huge knee lift. It's payback time. Picks the bull up by the stack and swivel by the hair. Ryan bears him. 
hits the rope, comes across. He's going to sit down on him, and he does. That got the Bulls' attention. If you want to play tackle, tackle, let's try this. The Bruiser comes in. They're working him all the all. Look at here, the Bruiser's almost took his head off. Bend him over that top cable. You notice Jesse Barr hasn't come close to the ring while Hayes was in there. Oh, my! Bruiser Brian Cox ran that tackle into the bull so hard it lifted Bruiser off the mat on that one. And the bull is getting up after that's generally one of his top finishing holes, and the bull got up. Oh, my, what a strong individual that Lou the Bull Andrews. They don't, nobody gives him that much credit. He's methodical. Oh, double kick. Bruiser ran into a hornet's nest on that one. Jesse Barr going for a neck breaker. Down goes the Bruiser. Jesse Barr with a knee drop to the jaw. Double chop. Stomps Bruiser right in the face. Billy Jack looking on, saying, I'd like to get a piece of you, but you won't get close enough to my corner. There's an elbow. Oh, he throws a chop. That brings Billy Jack in the ring. In the meantime, Bull jumps into the ring with Jesse Barr. They've got Bruiser Bryan at their mercy. Referee's chasing the Bull and saying, get out of the ring. Barr steps out. There was no tag. Flying there, but losable Andrews on Bruiser Bryan Cox. He's learned that knee drop from Jesse Barr. Holding Bruiser at bay with it. Hard right hand. Hard right hand. Bruiser Brian Cox being drugged back. To the corner. There's a double, double chop. Close line with the top of the bar. Going back to that and down. In the meantime, Billy Jack Haynes is getting the fans up ringside. Look at Jesse Barr. Ever, ever, ever methodical. Constantly work on the opponent. Oh, he's just right-handing the forehead of Brian Cox. Just pummeling him. Stomping him across the forehead with that big size 14 boot of his. Cruiser Bryant looking for a corner to get to, trying to find where Billy Jack is. Oh, there's a shot to the throat by Jesse Barr. Billy Jack complaining vehemently at ringside. Jesse Barr back in with that reverse chin lock, weakening, ever weakening his opponent. Billy Jack, there with a cheerleader for his tag team partner. Don't think that doesn't help when the crowd is behind you. Billy knows how to get him up, and that's exactly what he's doing. You're watching one of the legends of Oregon wrestling history, Billy Jack Haynes, at work on the ring apron right now, fans. Everybody loves Billy Jack Haynes. I wish he'd come back to the Northwest permanently as a permanent fixture here. And help bring wrestling back to where it should be in its rightful place here. All the wrestlers that were here at one time went back to join the WWF. Now they're slowly one by one coming back because the WWF, most of the power people in it are from the Pacific Northwest and they know it. Billy Jack Haynes flying to get him. his tag team partner to come over to the corner. He's begging him, come on, Bruiser, let me get pieces of him. Bruiser hits the ring ropes, comes off bar, stomps him in the face, puts that big boot up there. Look at here, Barr back into the corner. He's going up on the second rope. Coming off that second rope. On to Bruiser Brian. Oh, that bro, that terrible punishment that young man is taking. Trying to get to his corner. He thinks that the bull is his partner. He's groggy. In comes the bull. Bar tags him legitimately. Of course, they're going to work him over some more. 
punish him, wear him down. The big man from Idaho is playing their game now. He reached for the ropes, doing anything he can to become coherent again. He tries to get to his corner, tries to get to his corner. There's a body slam. Lou the Bull Andrews picks up 300 pounds, drops an elbow across his chest. Oh, I thought we had a pin. Referee Dale Wire. Went to two and a half on that one. The Bruiser trying, trying to get back to his corner. Can't find it. Bull Bull pushes him into bar. Bar elbows him across the forehead. You see how this tag team works, don't you, folks? You've got to try to keep your opponent closer to your corner to keep him from tagging his partner across the ring. Takes a lot of working together to coordinate that kind of wrestling. And it appears that Lou the Bull Andrews and Jesse Barr are expert at it. Billy Jack came just frothing at the bit, wanting it in to get part to Jesse Barr. Don't kid yourself. That vendetta between Billy Jack Haynes and Jesse Barr goes back a long way. Too. Look at look at Billy Jack Haynes getting the people up. He's got the people in a frenzy, waving them up into a frenzy. He's got them all whipped up. The bruiser, hearing the roar of the crowd, is starting to come back ever so slowly, trying to muster up some strength and that intestinal fortitude, pushing his way to Warren Haynes. Every inch, he's almost got Billy Jack in the ring. They're ever so close. Jesse Barr trying to force the bruiser back. The bruiser coming back. Barr grabs the tights, rakes him back over to the corner. Oh, the action is insurmountable here, fans. Try for a pin. All my office cohorts, John L. Scott of Vancouver out on 179th Street, are watching this match tonight with earnest anticipation that Billy Jack and Brian Cox will become victorious. Bruiser trying to wipe out those cobwebs. Throws an elbow into the midsection. Another one of the... He's got the bull bending over. He hits the ropes, comes across the bull, misses him. They both, they both tackle one another. Down they go. Boy, they collided like two rhinos. The boom, down they both went. Jesse Barr stomps off the bruise. He was so close to, so close to tagging Billy Jack Hayes. Barr intercepted him just in the nick of time. Oh, I hate to see what's going to happen when Hayes finally does get a hold of Barr. All four men equally, equally balanced in weight, size, and stature. They're all tipping close to 300 pounds. One of them's over 300 pounds. But they're incredible athletes, extremely fast for their size, marvelous conditioned athletes, pros at their highest quality. Brian comes over. Oh, there's a the tag. In comes Billy Jack Hayes. Referee Dale Wire didn't see the tag. He's putting Billy back out. In the meantime, Barr and a bull are working. Oh, Billy is fit to be tied. There was a tag, but the referee didn't see it. He's making Billy get out. Oh, they just, they just crucified Cox. Just beat him half to death. Brian Cox kicks out. I don't, I don't understand where this young man's resilience is coming from. Where, where did he reach back to do that? They just pummeled him mercifully in that corner. Mercifully. Brian Cox shoots. Oh, they tried for a double. Well, they both tried. Oh, they both got a clothesline. Man, these two guys are just, they're going at one another. 
They're both going for the same maneuver, and they're banging heads, banging elbows, banging bodies. There's a tag by Brian Cox. He said, in comes Billy Jack, and he's after board. Look out, he knocks the ball off of the apron. He puts the boots, the bar down, goes far. Billy's looking for people to pummel. Oh, he just throws a huge right hand. He's after more. He stomps him in the gut. Picks him up by the hair. Double chops him. He's got Barr. Barr is begging for mercy. There's that back suplex by Billy Jack that he's so famous for. He's asking, and he's going to go for the world-famous Paul Nelson. He is the master of the Paul Nelson. When he puts it on you, the match is over. There goes the full out. Oh, no. Dane Rush comes in the ring. <laughs> he went to hit. Oh. He went to hit Billy Jack Haynes with some sort of a foreign object. Oh, Barr picked it up off the mat, and he just busted Billy Jack. Out goes Billy Jack. He's hitting Bruiser Bryan with it. Dane Rush broke into the ring out of nowhere. The match was almost over. Oh, get out. Get this man out of there. Oh, hard right hand. What the, that's a tape piece of steel. Of, is that a piece of pipe? He's working a bruiser. Hitting him right in the jaw with it. Meanwhile, Billy Jack Haynes is out on the floor. He's looking for something. Billy Jack coming back into the ring. He's got a chair. Look out. Oh, he just walked it far. He broke the chair off the far back. Oh, five men were in the ring at the same time. Look at Billy Jack. He's, they're still trying to do damage to Brian Cox. Billy Jack Haynes. Referee Dale Wire has just disqualified the team of Jesse Barr and Lou the Bull Andrews. Billy Jack trying to protect Brian Cox at ring center. Brian saying, what in the world is this in here? Brian, he doesn't even know where he's at. He's staggering around. He's just, he's lost it. He's out of it. He's seeing birds right now. Fans, this is Dutch Savage. This is Championship USA Wrestling. The winners of this main event on TV tonight, Billy Jack Haynes and Brian Coxon. We'll be right back with an interview right after this. <laughs> 